So today's question of the day said, how many square feet of carpeting are needed to carpet a 22 foot by 12 foot room? Once again, here we have a word problem where they didn't really tell us the shape of the room. They didn't say, oh, it's a circular room or a triangular room or a hexagonal room. We don't know. Uh, let's just assume, and you should always do this, if they don't tell you the shape of the room that it's a rectangle. So I'm going to assume my room is rectangular, which is pretty much the norm. They would have to tell you if it was any other shape. And this room is 12 feet by 22 feet. Okay, so there's what I've been given. I've been given a room and there's its dimensions. Now, what am I trying to find? Notice they've asked me how many square feet of carpeting are needed uh, to carpet this room. So a couple of clues here as to what I'm finding. The first thing is that my answer is in square feet, not regular feet, but square feet. This is a big clue that you're looking for area because area is defined as the number of square units to cover a shape. Oh, I just forgot the most important word. Let's try that again. Uh, area is defined as the number of square units to cover a shape. Another big clue that I was looking for area this time is that it's carpeting. You don't just go around the outside of a room with carpet. How stupid would that look? You actually cover the entire floor with carpet. So let's make sure that we're doing area. So when you talk about area, basically you're talking about how many squares would cover the shape. Well, let's think about it. You would have 12 little markings going this way because it's 12 feet. And you guys are going to have to pretend like I managed to get 12 into this little bitty square that I drew. And you would have another 22 going this way. I want you to imagine that we pulled out these lines and extended them. And you can see if we extended them, we'd have 12 rows of 22 squares, 12 rows of 22 squares. Well, by definition, when you want to find a total with the same number over and over again, like the number 24, 12 times, you multiply. And so it's very simple to find the area of a rectangle. You're just gonna multiply the two dimensions, 12 times 22. And you could consult your GED formula sheet as well. And if you did, you would find this formula, area equals LW. What am I saying here? I'm saying if you want to find the area of a rectangle, multiply the length and the width. So I don't care if you do this by common sense or if you do this using the formula, you're going to get the exact same answer because you're going to multiply 12 times 22. If you had this problem on the GED, you would definitely have your GED calculator. So you could just go ahead and multiply 12 times 22 in your TI-30XS uh, calculator. And you would find that this is 264. Now be really, really careful. You are not done yet. Um, you're not done with the geometry problem until you know the units that you're in. Okay, notice that I was looking at how many square feet of carpeting. Now I just multiplied feet by feet, and so I ended up with all these little square feet. Area is always measured in square units. And so this is 264 square feet of carpeting. 264 little squares of carpet that are one foot by one foot. That's what that means. Okay, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments.